Why are you so shy? I grew up with it. You're visibly nervous right now. Why? Oh. In this moment right here. You can bring the mic up. You don't have to hold it down here. Like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, cause I'm don't fiddle with it down there. Oh. Yeah. Just in front of people. Okay. Why is that scary? Um, it's like public speaking and it's not easy. Why? I don't do it every day. Okay, well, let's logically look at it. Yeah. Are you in danger? No. Anyone here have a gun? Seattle, no guns. <laughs> I hope not. Anyone here have some paint? <laughs> There's no threat. Logically, nothing will happen. You can do whatever. You can make some silly sounds. <laughs> look at that. Nothing happened. Yeah. Give him a hand. Look at that. Now, this is good on the external side. Why? Because you did something that was a little out there, out of character, outside of your comfort zone. You didn't die, and you actually received positive feedback. Yeah. This is very helpful externally. It doesn't get to the cause, though, but it is helpful. So realize, nothing bad happened. But I want to go deeper. Why are you so shy? When did it start? You weren't a baby like this. You weren't stifled with your cries for your mama's milk. So what happened? When did it happen? I don't know when exactly. Never say I don't know. <laughs> Try to think. There was a shift. You come out of your mom. You're here. You're hungry. You weren't like none of that. And then at some point, you went from just being present, because that's true. If you're a baby, you're just present. You're listening to your emotions. Hungry. Wah, tired. Wah. And then at some point, you start becoming more aware, looking around, the process of socialization's kicking in, and you start stuffing that down. At some point, you started believing this baby's cry is not good enough. This baby's cry threatens my survival. What? <laughs> Let's vomit it back up. When did that happen? When did you swallow your your soul of expression in a way. Well, I know I was shy when I was a kid. Yeah, so Maybe early like on. six or seven. What happened then? I mean, I don't know when to pinpoint when I was shy. So Take your I best guess. Six? <laughs> yeah, what happened? How were you when you were six? Um, also, I was also a quiet kid. Mm -hmm. I was shy and, you know, I didn't know how to make conversations. <laughs> Well, Can you remember why you were shy back then? What was the fear underlying it? Oh, just talking to other kids. What would happen if you weren't shy? Um, hide. <laughs> well, no, what would be the negative outcome? Say with other kids, suddenly you were not shy, you were loud, you're like, hey, where's it going? Then what would happen? What's the fear? Oh, um, it's like I would do something and then the reaction wouldn't be what I expected. And then. Okay, but I want the fear. Like, say right now, I made you sing a song as loud as humanly possible. What kicks in? What's the fear? Wait, say it again? <laughs> if I make you right now sing a song sing as a song. loud as humanly possible to the crowd, what's going on in your mind? It kicked in right now. Are you ready to sing? Ooh, now it's kicked ready. in more. Yeah, what's, it, what's your mind saying? Oh, man, we're going to sing a good one. Don't worry. What are we singing? Well, tell me what you're thinking first. What's going on in there? Notice how we talked about before, triggered. Here's a situation that's triggering. Technically, nothing will happen if you sing, but emotionally, it feels like this is threatening my survival. This is too much for us to handle. We're going to die if it happens. You're being so brave, dude. Yeah, but don't give him that yet. <laughs> yes, you are. But this is also part of it. To let go of something, you've got to dive into the depths and identify it first. Meaning, diving into those fears. If you then, because yes, you are brave, but I always say that for the end. If I, you then start saying, oh, you're brave, you got it. It's like, oh, yeah, it kind of lets him off the hook from diving deeper. So it's actually doing a disservice. Sorry. It's okay. It's a good intention. Yeah, you don't have to apologize. You're good. But let's go deeper. You ready to sing? What's going on? Let's sing a song. Top of mind, whatever you want to sing. Three, two, one. 
What kicked in? Tell me, tell me right now. It's going out. What's it saying? There's no song. I don't know. There's a million songs. Yeah. What uh, music do you like? Um, I'll, I'll, like I'll, I'll let you pick. Pick any song in the world you feel the most <laughs> comfortable singing. Let's go. Can you pick this? <laughs> no. no, you pick. I'm curious. I want to know what you're going to pick. It has to be loud, really loud. <laughs> um, that's a good one. Notice how we all know a lot of songs. Yeah. Until we're put on the spot. So it's not that you don't know songs. It's that you're like. <gasps> the resistance even hijacked the mind where it's like, just block all the songs out. If I don't remember a song, maybe I won't have to sing and I'll be saved. No. no. The worst case is we resort back to happy birthday. But everyone knows that song. Now you know a song. Hey, that popped up the se like a second before you said it. There you go. So you can always do happy birthday. Um, do you ever watch uh, the movie Frozen? You know the song Let It Go? Speaking of letting go. Yeah, I, I, don't well, know there, the, I, I don't know. Just the sing the chorus. Let it go. Let it Lou go. But loud as possible. Three, two, one. Let it go. Let it go. Now, good, but we're going to keep going. Notice how it started off a little strong, and then you also swallowed up. It's like, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Laughter and a bit of loud, and then you saw the voice quickly modulate back to quiet. Till we get it loud. Let it go. Look at them. Own it. Move your body a bit, man. Come on, ready? Three, two, one. Let it go. Let it go. Let's just stay on those two lines. Louder. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, now does this sound like someone who has let it go? <laughs> yeah. Is this you as loose as you can be? As loud as you can be? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say <laughs> it's Seattle. You leave this event and someone comes. You said there was no guns, but they come up with a gun. They're like, give me your money. And you have to scream for help. Is that how loud you'd scream? Help, help. I don't think I've ever screamed that loud. Well, let's scream as loud as you can. Let's see. Do a ah as loud as you can. Ah! There you go. So that was good. Okay. That was a lot louder than let it go. Let's bring it back to let it go. That loud. Oh. Let it go! Good, but notice how it quickly retracts, right? It's like just a little bit. Is it good enough now? Is it good enough? Keep rolling with it, man. Let's go. Let it go! Let it go! Now good, volume's there, but still stiff. Right? Yeah. Force, I want power. I want you to loosen it up. See, how can you be loud and relaxed at the same time? So, shake it off. Taylor Swift, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. And then let's do it again, just relaxing into the let it go. Three, two, one. Let it go! Let it go! Better, huh? Better. Notice that. Now, one last thing. Tell us about your favorite movie, speaking as relaxed and loud as you can. Three, two, one, go. Tell them. Just talk about the movie. What's your favorite movie? Um, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. What happens? Tell us the plot. Loud is um, let it go. He goes back in time to... Now you're back to this. No, I want the relaxed let it go. He goes back in time to... So um, the actor, uh, different okay. person, huh? <laughs> Notice, you're back into the shell. Yeah. Then guess. it was like, let it go. It's like loud, and suddenly it's like, ha, 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 back to the future. Ha, ha, ha. Where's that? Where's the person who said yeah, let let it go really loud a second ago? Because I was trying <laughs> to think of the movie. <laughs> now, yeah. this is what I'm saying when, when I see most people, and most of you are like this too. I was too. 
were all hiding behind this shell. Imagine if he was able to tap into that let it go version of him 24 seven. Crazy difference in energy. And it doesn't mean you have to be loud, by the way. This is key. You can also be very quiet, but people can sense it in the vibe. And if you want a really clear distinction between quiet, non-charismatic and quiet, charismatic is this. Someone who's quiet, who's not charismatic, you currently, but you can work on it, is someone who's quiet out of obligation. He can't not be quiet. He can't not act like this. Someone who's quiet but charismatic is someone who chooses to be quiet. It's a choice. But if they want to be loud, they can! But you can choose. The whole range is unlocked. We need to bring that other one out of you. Now, this exercise here that I had you do, just to wrap it up here, don't worry, uh, gives you a reference that it's possible. Meaning, you can't now go home and say, uh, you know what, being loud and unstifled for other people, but not me, because he just did it. You did it once, you can do it again. It means that, what's your name? Mar. Mar, there's a powerful Mar inside, screaming, let me out. Yeah. And then there's the front saying, pss, 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 no. <laughs> let me out, let's show him our glory. No, or else. You threatened my survival when I was a child. Powerful Mar, back in the cage. It's self-inflicted. You play it small, you choose to play small. Sadly, most people only have that experience that you had saying to let it go in their dreams. In your dreams, you're like, yeah, sometimes, and then you wake up, you're like, back to this. So here you're at a reference. Now we got you to unlock it through me being here coaching you and some pressure. To make it permanent, and this is key for everyone too, here you get some references. It can trigger the resistance which you can then let go of, but to make it permanent, it will require more time and deep inner work. It's something that gradually starts becoming more of you. So do audit in your transformation journey. We think transformations like these kind of Dragon Ball Z Kamehameha moments, uh, those are great, those happen. Celebrate them, but they always crash. True change is the kind of change that sneaks up. It's these little one percents where you reach a point where you feel like you've always been this way. Because if you think of the Kamehameha, it feels surreal. It's like, whoa, look at me now. Meaning it's not truly internalized. It still feels foreign in a good way. But it's like, look at me now. I, I'm like Mario with the mushroom. Versus, nah, this is just who I am. If it feels foreign, you're gonna lose it, and it's still not you, and you're meant to lose it. True change feels like you've always been this way. For myself, I was extremely shy. You actually remind me a lot of younger me. 2006, I was actually worse. I wouldn't have even come up in front. I'd been way too scared, I would've run up and hit. Uh, I probably wouldn't even come up to the event in person. So, I was shyer than you. No way would I have even sung a song or said, let it go like that, no way! You did, so you're starting off way higher than me, for real. Now, that is true, but when I think back to it, if I think back to 2006 version of me, and I'm saying, you know, I used to be very shy, I don't feel like I was. I was, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like I've always been like this. That's how you know it's internalized. So for you, you have a reference, no excuse. You can tap into this. You will have to dive into and identify all the layers that are keeping it in that inner prison, but, Letting go of this is the way. You won't get there with tips and tricks. You gotta learn how to whew, let go of all that fear, all that conditioning, and the powerful you just surfaces. And shit, man, just notice like, even in the demeanor, the voice, everything in the vibe, like the whole audience is like, oh wow, like a different person surfaced and then quickly disappeared, but did surface. So he's there. Okay? Yeah. Now. Any last thoughts, any last words? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring out the powerful Mar one last time. Let's do another letting go. See if you can be even louder this time. Looser and louder. Okay. Let it go! Let it go! Great, now see if you can truly just relax your body into it. So you're like, 
Let it go. Let it versus let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Now 20 times louder. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Perfect. Now put some passion into it. You're Shakespeare. You're like an opera singer. Let it go. Let it go. Let's go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Nice. Now tell us about Back to the Future. Oh. Go. Why do you like it so much? It's a fun movie. <laughs> oh, he's back. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I have to think about the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Now let's start. One last time. What's your favorite thing about the movie? What do you tell it? What happens in the movie? They go back to the future. There you the go. Drama. Okay, the drama. Here's what you're gonna say. I love the drama, and I love that they go back to the future. Okay, so you know what to say. So give us another letting go, and then crack right into it. Wait. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Back to the future. Oh. I love the drama, and I love they go back to the future. I love the drama, and I love Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Because I was thinking. So. Yeah, but why are you so afraid that you have to say the perfect thing? Oh. Maybe, here, here's what you can do. Let's do Back to the Future and just make up a plot. Make up whatever you want to say about it. No one really cares, by the way, your take on Back to the Future, no offense. <laughs> no one's like, oh, I wonder what he thinks about Back to the Oh, the plot? I wonder his take on the plot better be the perfect words. No one cares. <laughs> They just want to see some authenticity, some realness, some rawness. Yeah. That's ultimately what we're all craving, right? Anyone see the movie The Whale? Yeah? It's good. It's disturbing, but good. But literally, there's this whole bit that I loved in the movie. It was actually my favorite part, um, where he tells that to, to his um, students and his daughter. And he's like, he, he's this English teacher. And he's like, just stop writing these essays trying to impress and just say what's on your mind. Same here, just, just show us something real. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you make a mistake, you fumble. Like, let's see some of the real you. What do you want to say? You're in the whale now. I'm Brendan Fraser. Hello, something real. I, I can't even do it, just something real. Something raw, something authentic, man. Come on. Stop trying to impress me! Something real! They're waiting. Nothing comes to mind, huh? It's fake. You're playing the role. Aren't you sick of playing this role? This character? Yeah. The shy good kid? Yeah. So when are you going to break out of it? There's only one answer. Today? No. You really can't see the answer. When you're going to break out of it? Now? Yeah, now. I mean, are you sick of it? Or do you want to keep playing that role? Oh. Isn't that why you're here? Yeah. Well, here's your chance, man. This is it. This is your chance. You got the lottery ticket. You're in front and you're just pissing on it. Don't piss on it. If not now, when? So, before you step on these, <laughs> give me something real. Something from the heart. Something where you're not even thinking or trying to pre-plan. Just say something. Something that's on your mind. Something. I need money. <laughs> okay. Well, the, I don't know. Like, something oh. else. Uh, How do you feel about me putting you on the spot here? Do you like the nervous? pressure I'm putting on you here? You like this? No, not really. <laughs> well, why don't you express that a bit? Back to the whale. Brendan Fraser's daughter in the whale. What does she write? How much she hates that and hates him. And what's his reaction? Yes, something real. Guess what? Here it's probably a mixed bag. Authentically you like it. There's the powerful Mar inside saying, yes, finally. But then there's the ego 
saying, No! Julian's threatening our survival. Survive. Go back into the cage, Mar. Back into the invisible prison. And it can be a little like, ah, or it can also be frustrating. I also won't let you off the hook till I see it. So we got it. You, you can delay it, but dude, we're going to go on till we get it. Because right now, and I didn't know I was going to talk about the whale, but I'm in the whale. I'm chugging food, imaginary food, as I'm saying this to you. I'm like, something real! Whatever you want to say, the world is your oyster, man. This is your blank canvas. Paint it. Let's start small. Draw something. Whatever you want to draw. Blank canvas. Draw away. Whatever you want. Something real. Oh. From the soul. Okay, good start. Now, draw something you can't find in this room. Draw how you used to draw when you were a kid. This is later on, right? We look around and we're like, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. From the soul, not a copy paste. Same with your personality and expression. Don't be like, copy, paste, blah, blah. I want you. Notice how even something as simple as this, just draw from the soul. You're free to draw. Kid would have no problem drawing. Yet conditioning adults, no. Real and authentic. Anything. Whatever you want, you're free. You can also have fun with it. You can make whatever. Just something real. Let yourself flow, man. <laughs> All right. You have the chance of just Getting your drawing seen from a whole crowd. How cool is that? Better. Now, why am I saying it's better? You couldn't necessarily see it, but there was a bit more of a smile as he was drawing it. The first one was more thinking, like, mm -hmm. this one was a bit more like, huh, huh, huh. one step there. Yeah. Now come back here. This is your new canvas. What do you want to say? Anything. How do you feel about yourself, about life, about the world, whatever you want to say? Just something from the heart. Happy to be alive. Okay. Is that from the heart? I'm, I'm happy to be alive. Mean it. Mean it? Like, yeah. Say alive? Just mean it. I just want to feel it. Feel something real. We can sense. You can't, this is the thing. You can't fake your way out of this. We all sense it. Okay. So, you want me to say? Whatever. I don't care what you say. I just want to feel the realness. This is where thinking will not save you. Feeling is the way. I feel nervous. Why are you looking at me? I'm not sure. What Look at them. Why not me? They'll give you, let's do this. They'll tell you when it's real. When you see everyone, when you sense it's real, put a thumbs up in the air. I don't 
It doesn't matter what I think. We're waiting. I'm depending on their thumbs up now. What should I say? That's real. At some point, you got to put your foot down on all the excuses and surrender. Like I said, I'm not letting you off the hook till you do it. Everything you're saying right now, like, well, I don't know. Looking at me like, save me? Is it over yet? Can I go? Maybe if I say I don't know enough, he'll just give up. Blah, blah, blah. That's resistance. The sooner that little voice realizes you ain't escaping, you're trapped. The only way out is to surrender and just speak some truth. Speak some truth. Yeah, otherwise the litter will keep on going. I have nowhere to be. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. That's not going to save you either. Oh. Literally, are you, all your excuses, I'm like, okay, keep, go on. Okay, go on. Just copy, paste, okay, go on to whatever your mind says. Um, food? Uh, I need some sleep. <sighs> I'm tired. We're out since 5 a.m. Okay, go on. I don't see any thumbs up. Uh, I only had six hours sleep. Focus on feeling. Feeling? Yeah. Aren't you frustrated? I would be. You're here, it's like speak some truth and you can't do it. Doesn't it fucking frustrate you? You can't do it? Yeah. We'll talk about that. No. It's probably a familiar feeling. I want to say this, I can't. Oh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I can't speak up. Oh, like, doesn't that fucking piss you off, man? Yeah. Well, tell us, how much does it piss you off? How does it piss you off? It's not easy being up here. I'm terrified because I'm really shy and I'm not used to this environment. No. Better? Keep going. Um, Don't try to I'm be not, cool, be real. Don't impress, express. I'm not very good at speaking in front of crowds. Um, scares me. I'm kind of scared right now. How's life been for you so far? Just, it's like the same routine every day. Yeah, sorry to hear. It's been pretty tough. How's acting this way and not being able to break out of it for so long? How's that been? Um, scary. Do you like when people look at you and think there's the shy guy? Yeah. Oh, no. Do you like it? No. What do you think? Oh, here's the shy guy. Oh, he's just always shy and just nice and quiet. He just agrees. It's like, um, you know, what do I do that makes them really shy? I mean, um, makes me really shy. Mm -hmm. Make them think that I'm shy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just a normally shy ki guy. Um, talking to people is kind of hard. So I, um, I kind of need work on my social skills. And uh, I'm a guy that's willing to learn. So. You're giving the right words, but I don't feel it. Oh. I'm just a guy, I need to learn my social skills. I'm chat GPT saying the right script. <laughs> you were almost there before when the few hands came up. I just wanted a little bit more. Okay. I feel like sitting down. I feel like escaping. How do you feel about how you did up here today? I feel like I did okay. How could it have been better? Oh, 
Um, you said just okay. How could it be better? It's being a little more loose. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about not being loose? How, about, how do you feel about just doing okay? How do you feel about dragging this out so long people are starting to get bored? Like, fuck, come on, dude. That's what everyone's thinking. Yeah. Like, literally the impulse, because it also, for everyone, it's very easy to see things in others, but this does always tend to trigger our version of that. So the question for all of you is, where am I doing this? In what area? And it will trigger a bit of the sensation that ultimately we want to do to ourselves, which is there's kind of this pull where you just want to say, come on, dude. No, and you're just kind of like sitting there quietly, like just fucking come on, come on. Like that's what I'm feeling. It's like, come on, man. Fuck. Drop this shit. This sad, fucking shy bullshit. This is a step in your goddamn power, dude. Okay, step one. How would you stepping into your power stand? How would you stand? How would you, what would be your posture? Oh. Posture doesn't matter, but for you at this stepping, let's start small. Posture. Like this? Okay. Yeah, shoulders back and none of this fucking mic fiddling in front. Okay, arms back. Now relax, 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 relax. Now, would you stepping into your power be smiley or just... Would you smile? When's the last time you laughed? Come on! When's the last time you laughed? Yesterday. What did you laugh about? Um, when Owen says something funny. Okay. Yeah. So, let's try to summon a bit of that. You keep backing up over here. Come on here. Let's loosen it up. Okay. Give yourself a couple pats on the chest. Let's get some, for like, come on, man. Give us the loudest scream, an angry scream. Ah! Not angry, like, ah! Come on! Ah! More! Ah! More, I don't feel it. More. Ah! Now, something real. Go. Oh. <laughs> fuck, dude, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. It must be really tough. I mean it. I'm like, yeah. fuck. It's like going to the pound and seeing the saddest dog there, just fucking just sick and just oh. shit, dude. What would be a, a final act that you can make yourself feel proud of? Like, you're not even trying to fucking fight it, dude. Like, put in some effort. I'm not gonna do it for you. This is the other big one. I'm not gonna do it for you. Yeah. You can look at me and go back to your little shy shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. You have to do it. I'm creating the space and trying to guide you to do it, but in the end, dude, if you don't do it, no one else can. And you'll go and sit back down and you'll go back to your routine and nothing will fucking change for you. You'll just have a cool story to tell about how you yelled at a seminar. Yeah. Is that what you want? Is that the best outcome? Hey, I went in front and yelled, ha ha, cool. You won't even say it like that. You'll be like, no, oh, so I yelled, <laughs> yeah. Does that not make you fucking pissed off or sad? Because it should, fuck that make me sad. So what are you gonna do about it? Not me, you. What are you gonna do about it? Change. Okay. So do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. Don't look at me. You do it. I'm not doing it. You do it. It's right there. Tip of your tongue. Closest we've been to realness. Last chance, then you sit down, then it's over. This determines if you sit down proud or you sit down sad. I'm, well, stop looking at me. I'm not doing it. You do it. I really don't know. So you're going to give up? So you're really not sad or pissed off about it? You actually like being that shy and quiet and stifled? You didn't like the powerful you that surfaced yelling, you let it go? You don't like that? You want to go back in the corner? Oh, because I don't get it. 
Fuck, dude. So this is it for you? This is your personality? This is your charisma? This is your essence? Yeah. Damn. So you really don't care about your journey or your growth with this? I do. So why are you fighting for it? Why are you fucking trying to claw your way out of it? You ever see the first, was it, I think it's the first Batman or one of those, or maybe the last one where he's in the cave trying to climb out? Yeah. Might be the last one with Bane. You're at the cave and you're as if Bruce Wayne was just like, I just can't climb out, it's too hard. And the world ends. Fucking try, dude. It's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be comfortable, but the least you can do is try. You're, you're the horse who's been led to the water. The water is here. All I'm saying is, dude, just stick your tongue out and take a lick. Drink the water. And you're like, yeah. You're at the finish line. There's nothing right that you're supposed to do. Just anything real. As soon as you stop trying to be this good little boy, it'll come out. Stop trying to give us the right answer, the perfect answer, say the right thing. We want just something real, dude. Give us the wrong answer. Yeah, like just, even dude, like just standing here, if you were just like, ah, like a fucking scream, just how pissed you are that you can't, it'd be a real fucking scream. Like literally even a sound is enough. Just something real. Scream. That's one example, but like anything, dude. Just something, something where you're not playing this character. It's not a binary response. You want to feel something. Just do something. It's whatever comes. And look, everyone is just as invested here. They're like, come on. They care more than you. <laughs> and that, by the way, that for you should be a wake up call. It's like, fuck, if they care, if strangers in a crowd care more about me than me, what's going on? I gotta let them sit back down. Come on. Yeah, it's like, we're going to block all the chairs. You're not sitting. Like, we want it. You do it, man. You got this. Just scream. Yeah, what scream. Whatever. Do it. Just talk. What do you want to do? What's on your mind? Get the balls in it. Ah! Yes, sir. Let's go. More. Keep going. I'm scared. Yes. Yes. Let me feel it. How do you feel? I want to sit down. Yeah. Yes. How does that make you feel? Better. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Keep going. You're wearing a Bass Pro hat. You like fishing? Tell us about fishing. Virginia fish. Rump, don't go back. I don't really fish. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the hat. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's objectively funny? Yep. That is objectively funny. Yeah. yeah. That's a thumb for me, bro. Responses are not binary, dude. Just keep going. Flow keep state. Going, dude. Flow state. Uh, what's one of your favorite core memories? <laughs> Disneyland. Disneyland. What happened in Disneyland? Describe it. The rides. Um, Wait are 45 minutes. Who'd you go with? Family. Um, uh, there's five um, five members of my family: mom, dad, two sisters, one brother. What's um something that's true that you've never told anyone before? There's a lot. A lot to pick from. Yeah. Can't be a lie, but it has to be something you've never told anyone before. Mm. That's the final thing I want. Which, by the way, these last few bits were really good. <clears throat> final thing. 
something that's true you've never told anyone before, then you're done. Like, no one knows? Mm -hmm. No one, but oh. you. Um. Has to be legal. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, there's this body that I just... <laughs> Uh, sometimes I go into forest by myself just to be alone. What forest? Um, it's like at, uh, around Mount Rainier. Okay. Because sometimes I like to have time alone. Yeah. Take us through a forest trip. What do you do? Where do you drive out there and how long do you stay there? What do you do? Where do you go? Sometimes when I, you know, when there's a view, I just sit there and just think, think about life, think about work. Right. What do you think about life? Oh, um, friends, family. Well, details. Think, what was the, the recent epiphany you had or, or thought, like crazy thought or realization you had last time you did that? Just, um... When I got hired on my new job, just thinking about how um, it made me stress about the interview uh -huh. and, um, and how worried I am if I'm not going to get it, like where else I'm going to work. Because you know, uh, the job I was working at, it, it's almost the same job, but it pays less. Because uh, I really wanted that job, and I got it. Okay. And I know I said it was the last thing, but a final thing. What's something that excites you a ton in life right now? What are you really excited about? Going on trips. <laughs> um. You are the master at one or two word answers. It's like very basic. Like, Disneyland, rides, lines, going on trips. Details! I'm going to Tijuana in November. This is me and my friend. He's Mexican, so he can show me around Tijuana. It's a new city, I've never been there. And I told him I wanted to go somewhere that's not really expensive, but it's a place to go, to get away, because I like to get away. Dangerous, adventurous place. <laughs> okay. And one last thing, one more let it go, then you're done. I want to see the real Mar again. Ready? Three, two, one. Let it go! Let it go! Now, last one a little bit more. It's right there, 10% more. Go! Let it go! Keep going! Let it go! Give him a hand! Okay. Now, a few final things for you. You can stand right over here. A few final things for you. One, okay, just leaving this. This is where you can say takes courage and massive respect. It's just massive, like massive props. Now's the time, yes, for everyone. Now's the time. Okay. So, what you went through here, massive respect. When I'm up here guiding you through it, I'm going to play different roles and throw different things at you. For all of you, just breaking this down, you've seen the angle where I'm like, oh, come on, a bit more empathetic. And then where I'm a bit more like, what? What is this? Then a bit more like, oh, that must hurt, like trying to hit on that. Like, I will try everything, lay you off the hook, try to get you, like anything and everything until something pierces through. But you stuck through it, and that first of all is massive respect because you could just run off any time. It's not like you're chained here. It's like, we want to see it. It's like, you can bounce, and you stuck through. So although there's a big part of you resisting it, saying, no, 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 stay in the cage, stay in the cage, there's an even bigger part of you that wants to truly be there, like to be seen and to let go of this front and to be real. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have left. Meaning you won, your ego lost. One for you, minus one for the ego. Okay? Massive respect. You also saying, let it go. It takes balls. It's huge. So celebrate the wins. So one side of this is massive win, shows that it's possible. We saw some of the real him, not the character, not the front, and you persisted and you stuck through. 
Win, win, win. Now, long term, you'll want to dive into it and let go of it. That's some of the other things to then, okay, all the wins, what else can we do? A big one for you is you have a huge uh, filtering mechanism between what you're thinking and what you're saying. This is for everyone. And also why you're like, oh, I don't really know what to say. We all have, you could say, here's my picture. in our head, <laughs> okay, um, so this is you, in our heads, we all have, you could say, if you think of like, a, we have a bar, and there's a million things that pop in our heads at all time. None of us are ever quiet in here or you'd be enlightened. There's always something going on. The problem is we filter everything through this. So there's things when I ask you, or I literally saw it in your eyes, because I've been doing this for so long, I can tell when it happens. You're like, okay, I thought of something, and then you compare it to the bar. Is it good enough? No. And then you move on to the next. You're like, not good, not good, not good. So a lot of what's going on in your mind, you're filtering it as not good, and only a little bit, this is good enough. So there's a high bar. You want to lower this bar. This applies to anyone too. Even if you're trying to be cool or say impressive things, you're like, is this good? Like say you actually pull it off and you say everything perfectly. What's going to happen? You're going to come off as too perfect and too try hard. Meaning that someone who's cool and confident, they don't have a high bar. They're so confident that they can lower the bar and just feel confident saying whatever. It's someone who's not confident who's always trying to say the perfect thing. Confident people just say what's on their mind. So for you, you're going to want to let go of this and lower the bar. So whatever's in your mind, for the most part, say it. You think it, you say it. You hear a question, you say it. And then owning it. And this will be diving into your past, like you said, around, say, five, six, processing the events that started creating this shell. But there is a way out. Final thing, like I said, massive props. Old me wouldn't have been able to do this. And you're starting off at a way better point than I was. So don't self-attack. Celebrate. But it is a big sign. You got to put in the work now. You got to process this. And the biggest one is keep trying. This is for all of you. Keep trying. And sometimes when it feels a little hopeless or like you can't, you got to retune with the aspect of you that still cares. Meaning all of you in this room, you cared enough to show up here in person. So there's a part of you that's like, yes, I can do this. I got to do this. Yes, yes, yes. And then there's another part saying, no, no, no. When the no part's there, I call this worm tongue, like in Lord of the Rings. It's like that, the old king in the second one. There's this character that's like whispering stuff in his ear and poisoning his mind. Like, you suck. Don't say it. Da, 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 da. You got to put your foot down and say no to worm tongue. Foot down. You're going to have to start doing that to you. Oh, it's not going to No and create some space between it to let go of it. But you need to have that boundary, okay? And lastly too, notice how this spoke to people. Spoke to me too, or I would have quickly wrapped this fast. We really didn't have to go this long. Yeah. Like literally, for all of you here, if I just even wanted like a good segment, as soon as the first few thumbs up went up, I could have just done, and we all would have clapped and it would have been a beautiful ending. We didn't have to go on the extra time. But I care. I really do. This is why I do what I do. When I see this, again, I can see myself, like old me and you, and especially when we saw that let it go, the contrast between that version of you and this is just so big that there's literally so much fucking glory in you, dude. There's so much just like, oh, like there's that inner you just screaming, let me out. You gotta. Again. We care, we're here, you gotta care too, and you gotta find a way to let that you out. Stop keeping it locked up. And you'll see, not only will your life then improve externally, will people resonate more, but you'll start feeling good within and feeling whole, and feeling at ease, and feeling like you can belong within yourself, versus always managing a front and worrying and whatnot. Okay? 
But once more, massive props. Okay? Thank you. Give him my hand. You. I will say a last thing. I know you said, so you said you're very inspirational. I'm not. I didn't do anything. You were inspirational. You made this whole bit, not me. You were the hero. You were the star. Do let it land. Like, look at them. Like, I was just there guiding. Like, hey, do this, do this. You're the one doing it. You're the one that people are going to remember that has an impact. Even after this event, they're not going to remember a little, maybe they, I mean, maybe some will. They're, they're not going to remember all the little words I said. Like, even, let's just say this. In this past segment, do you remember every single bit of advice I gave him or said? No. 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 But you definitely remember the emotional impact that he had on you. You were the star. I wasn't inspirational. You were. Let that land. Okay. For real. You're extremely inspirational. You, and you illustrated ideas, and you worked on it, and you were brave, and you were like vulnerable. You didn't run out. Fuck yeah, that's inspirational. Me to you, respect. For real.